This morning, a new fast Zach is on the scene, and this is Zach Beaven. So he ran a 50307 50 mile at the Tunnel Hill. This is in Illinois. And this venue has become pretty well known for being a really fast course. So they have a 100 mile and a 50 mile option. It was very small this year. They had 100 combined entrance just between the two. And Zach went out there and smashed it. Zach Bitter in 20, 2018, he ran a 1208 100 miler there. And of course, Camille Heron ran her 1242 in 2017. This is on a USATF certified course. And what does that mean? Well, it means that USA Track and Field has certified the distance to be accurate, to be at least that far. And that's something that you don't typically find on dirt or trail courses. That's typically only for road races. And this is one that is certified. So you can, you can actually count it to be true. Now let's look at what the world record is for 50 miles and how this time stacks up and what it means. Because a 503 is not something that happens all the time. And this record was held by Barney Klecker for a number of years. He set it in 1980 in October in Chicago. And he ran a 4.51.25. This, of course, was bested by Jim Walmsley in May of 2019 in California at the Carbon X event. Uh, Jim ran a 4.50.08. It's probably in the top three or four times uh, of all time. So pretty exciting stuff. So who is Zach Beaven? I, of course, went straight to Ultra Sign Up and could not find really anything about him. Uh, I dug a little deeper and... On his Strava page, he calls himself a trail runner at heart, but for now he's running the roads. Yes, he is a 218 marathoner, and he did run at the 2020 Atlanta Olympic Trials for the US. He didn't do that great there. Um, he ran 98th place, a 224.52, still a phenomenal time, of course, but I'm sure he would have wanted to run faster. So he did run collegiately for the University of Kentucky. Some of his collegiate best times, uh, 428 in the mile, 1433 in the 5K, and 3031 in the 10K. So he's obviously got a, a track background, and it's something that I think we'll see more of going forward, especially right now with everything going on. You know, there's not a lot of road races happening, um, but trail running events and trail ultras, they're in this sweet spot where they're happening. There might be only 40 to 50 competitors, um, but they are able to take place. So we might see some more road guys ticking over to the trails. Now, this is not his first ultra. He actually ran the second best all time at Strolling Gym, which is a 40 miler held in Tennessee. The record for that is held by Andy Jones of 359, and they've got some pretty serious prize money going on right now. It's like a cumulative build, so it builds by $1,000 a year. And he ran a 407.42 back in 2019. That's six minutes per mile pace. A pretty strong predictor of, of what he just pulled off this morning at Tunnel Hill. So the question is, what is next for this fast Zach in the sport of ultra running? If you guys know anything more about Zach, please comment below. Let me know what you know about him or what you think he should run next. Anyways, wanted to keep this video short. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Be sure to subscribe for more like this. Let me know if you like this video style. And we're coming at you from our new studio here. I'm definitely excited to con continue to build that out. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye.